Leaving aside the related tradition of syndicalism in Ireland, associated with figures like James Connolly, Irish anarchism had little historical tradition before the 1970s. As a movement it only really developed from the late 1990s, although one organisation, the Workers' Solidarity Movement has had a continuous existence since 1984. Anarchists have been active in Ireland as far back as 1886, but these were short-lived groups or isolated individuals with large gaps between activity. Origins <inaudible> 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 The first mention of an Irish connection to anarchism was the Boston-based Irish nationalist W. G. H. Smart, who wrote articles for The Anarchist in 1880 and 1881. In 1886, Michael Gabriel, an English anarchist, arrived in Dublin and moved to Bayview Avenue in the North Strand. He was a member of the Socialist League, an organization whose members included libertarian Marxist William Morris and anarchist Joseph Lane. A branch of the League was formed and it is known that anarchist publications were among those distributed by them. Around the same time, George Bernard Shaw wrote the article, What's in a Name? How an Anarchist Might Put It, at the request of Charlotte Wilson for issue number one of The Anarchist in 1885. Shaw had been taught French by the communard Richard Deck, who introduced him to Proudhon. Later he was embarrassed by unauthorized reprints, as he was a Fabian socialist, not an anarchist. Irish writer Oscar Wilde notably expressed anarchist sympathies, especially in his essay The Soul of Man Under Socialism. Around 1890 John Cray, an Irish doctor who was joint founder with Fred Charles, of the Sheffield Anarchist, took part in the No Rent agitation before leaving Sheffield in 1891. He went on to become the founding editor in Argentina of the anarchist paper, El Oprimido, which was one of the first to support the organizers current as opposed to refusal to organize large-scale organizations. In 1892 English anarchists visited Fred Allen at the Dublin Independent offices to see if his fair trial fund could be used for anarchist as well as Irish Republican Brotherhood prisoners. In 1894 at Trinity College Dublin's Fabian Society. Over 200 students listened sympathetically to a lecture on anarchism and Darwinism. In the 20th century Captain Jack White was active as an anarchist in the 1930s after returning from the Spanish Revolution. <laughs> <laughs> Modern development In the late 1960s, as the civil rights campaign took off, People's Democracy, before it became a small Trotskyist group, included some self-described anarchists such as John McGuffin and Jackie Crawford. The latter was one of the group who sold freedom in Belfast's Castle Street in the late 1960s. There was an anarchist banner on the Belfast Dairy Civil Rights March. PD members, including John Gray, contributed to a special issue of the British Anarchy magazine about Northern Ireland in 1971. In the early 1970s some ex-members of the official IRA became interested in anarchism and developed contact with Black Flag magazine in London. Among names used were Dublin Anarchist Group and New Earth. Their existence was brief and not widely known. A number of jailings for armed actions saw the group disappear. Two members, Marie and Noel Murray, were later sentenced to death for the killing of an off-duty Garda during a bank raid as part of a group called the Anarchist Black Cross with no relation to the much older prisoner support group. Their sentences were commuted to life imprisonment on appeal. In 1970 there existed a hippie commune in a squatted house on Dublin's exclusive Marion Road known as the Island Commune. Some inhabitants, including UBI Dwyer of Windsor Free Festival fame, sold freedom outside the GPO on Saturdays. Topic. Origins of the movement The first steps towards building a movement came in the late 1970s when a number of young Irish people who had been living and working in Britain returned home, bringing their newfound anarchist politics with them. Local groups were set up in Belfast, Dublin, Limerick, Dundalk and Drogheda. Over the next decade anarchist papers appeared, some for just one or two editions, others with a much longer life. Titles included Out of Control Belfast, Anarchist Worker Dublin, Antrim Alternative Ballymena, Black Star Ballymena, Resistance Dublin and Organised Ballymena. Bookshops were opened in Belfast just books in Wine Tavern Street and Dublin ABC in Marlborough Street. 
All of these groups attracted people who identified themselves as anarchists but had little in the way of agreed politics or activities, and no organized discussions or education about anarchism. This imposed limits to what they could achieve and even to their continued existence. All groups were short lived, had little impact, and left no lasting legacy. In 1978, ex members of the Belfast Anarchist Collective and the Dublin Anarchist Group decided that a more politically united, class based, and public organization was necessary. Their discussions led to the Anarchist Workers Alliance, which existed from 1978 to 81, although only to any substantial extent in Dublin. It produced Anarchist Worker Knows. 1 to 7, documents on the national question, women's liberation, trade unions, and a constitution. Some anarchist inspired material can also be seen on indymedia.ie. <laughs> Modern conception of the anarchist movement Ireland has seen a relatively large comparative growth in anarchist politics, in various forms since the alter globalisation movement of the 1990s and 2000s. Dublin now hosts numerous explicitly anarchist squats, as well as regular social events facilitating for the anarchist scene in various locations. Anarchists have been involved in activities from squatting, pro-choice, anti-water charges to anti-fascist activity. Active organizations There are several anarchist organizations operating in Ireland. The Workers' Solidarity Movement is a platformist anarchist group with members in Dublin, Cork, Limerick, Belfast, Derry, and Galway formed in 1984. A Belfast branch of the British Solidarity Federation, which was formerly Organise, a small class struggle anarchist organisation formed in 2003 from a merger of the Anarcho-Syndicalist Federation, Anarchist Federation, Anarchist Prisoner Support and a number of individuals. The Dublin-based Revolutionary Anarcha-Feminist Group RAG, a group for female anarchists was formed in 2005 and has published six issues of a magazine, The RAG. In April 2015, the Dublin Anarchist Black Cross ABC was founded. There are also a number of organisations and spaces which, while perhaps not explicitly anarchist, share much in common with the anarchist movement. These include the Grassroots Gatherings 2001 present, the Dublin Grassroots Network 2003-2004, Grassroots Dissent 2004, Galway Social Space 2008 to 2010, Rossport Solidarity Camp 2005 to 2014, Jigsaw WSM Venue formerly titled Siomra Sprawi 2004 to 2015, Grangegerman Squat 2013 to 2015 and the Barricade Inn 2015-2016. Topic. See also Irish Anarchist History Archive World Socialist Party Ireland defunct political party which advocated a stateless, democratic society and rejected the idea of vanguardism and any transitional state. Topic. References Topic. Further reading Finton Lane, The Emergence of Modern Irish Socialism 1885-87 Finton Lane, "'Practical Anarchists, We' Social Revolutionaries in Dublin, 1885-87, History Ireland, March, April 2008